What is up my beautiful ninjas, how you doing today? It's time to do some more train gang activities. Ninjas, we're gonna be doing the future market. Looks like we're gonna be getting some Topaz action here, and we're gonna get some Gwen screen time, damn! You ever just wish you were a D-ting all of a sudden? Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacony. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. I hope it comes out soon. I don't want to have to wait four or five more patches for it. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. No. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. To be honest, I mute every group chat I'm in. Brody, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you with the mom emotes? Can you read this message, Express Crew? Hello, Brone Brone. Yes, I see it. It's been a while, Bronia. Bronia, we're missing you so much. Great, I was worried that you couldn't receive messages. Why wouldn't we? This train got Wi-Fi. I know you're busy, so I'll keep it short. Recently, I've been working on preparing the Soul Warm Festival, a traditional Belobogian festival. The standard celebrations for this festival have been suspended for years due to the fragmentum and the lockdown, and Bellabogians now really need a heated celebration to lift their spirits. Ah, I get it. Heated, because they're gonna freeze to death. You funny, boo-boo. So if you have time, I'd like to invite you to the Soul Warm Festival and witness what we've achieved so far in reviving Bellabog. You mean that I did. I killed your Stellaron and I fixed your damn museum. Put some respect on my name. Now nah, we got better stuff to do, apparently. I'm sorry, but I may not have time for that. Come on, Himiko's chair. Don't tell me you want to stay in your room and play on your phone all day long. Listen, March, I felt that at a personal level. How dare you? Don't worry, we'll definitely go there. Festivals and celebrations are right up my alley. It'd be great if you can come. Everyone has been missing you. Has Don Hong been busy these days? He hasn't sent any messages in the group chat. Oh, he's just like me. <laughs> he's holed up in his room recently. I guess he's turned off all his devices. Yeah, do not disturb is mandatory. We'll check on him for you. Thank you, March. I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the Soul Warm Festival and in Mama Emote. Oh, Bronya. Ah, <sighs> that Don Hong. He can't just ignore Bronya. Let's go to his room and talk to him. I don't know about this. He might still got some dragon juice up in him. Don Hung, Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes, I saw it. And you didn't say nothing. You're too busy with your iPad. Then why didn't you reply? Branya's a good friend of ours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Lo Fu. It was uh, tough on the spirit. I remember when you got your chest split open. Uh, Don Hung, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. You're right, you went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Don Hung, stay on the express and get some rest. Why not come with us for a change of scenery? Yeah, get your ass outside, man. I'm gonna have to limit your tablet time. Uh, no thanks. I'll be staying on the express. I don't have no friends. It's great that Bellabog is able to host a celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Say hi to our friends for me. Okay, rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. Damn straight, we're gonna get some Himiko action. <sighs> I'll be there next time. Could you try to be happy? Uh, he won't budge, huh? Looks like it's just the two of us then. I see zero issues here. Uh, pity, he's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. Stress-free for us or stress-free for the planet? Yeah, for real. Don't get yourself all worked up. If your Rillo 6 is strong enough to withstand a Stellaron, it'll be just fine. But it wasn't. We're the reason it survived. Aw, if only Himeko could come with us. Don't hurt me. What about Pom Pom? Yeah, we need some Pom Pom air time. Pom Pom can't just leave the Express whenever they feel like it. You didn't know? No. It seems like someone wasn't paying attention. Why do you hurt me this way? Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? <gasps> she might be up for an adventure. Thank you, Lord Almighty. You've been on the a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Nope. Well, now's your chance. Thank you, thank you. Wait a minute, did they finally give Himeko her room? Oh wait, no they didn't. They're gonna put her on the outside, didn't they? Of course. One day, one day we'll get Himeko's room. Hey, March. 
That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? You, you're the goodness in this world. Ah, uh, Himeko, there's a celebration coming up on your Rillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so wanna come with us? If you say no, I'm jumping off the train. I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. No. Please send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. There is no holiness in this world. God has forsaken this planet long ago. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Urillo 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. That's what you said last time. Aw, uh, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Yes, navigating from a secluded corner. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set off. I'm ready. <gasps> hey, yo, hold on a minute. Damn. Hey. So, what do you think about my new dress? Pretty neat, right? Oh my god, yo, hold on a minute. Turn off the... Wh which is the button? Yo, turn all this UI off. March. Damn, bae. Yes, I think March gets a definitive S-tiering on the waifu list. Yeah, I saw that jaw drop, Stella. You can't fool me. Very fancy. It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for far too long. But now I finally got the chance to wear it. You've been hiding this from me for almost half a year? This kind of event does come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? Are you serious, March? Hoya would never give the MC a custom outfit. Nah. <laughs> well, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Hold on a minute, ninjas. Are those thigh highs? When does the skin come out, please? I don't know whether I should talk to her or take photos. Are uh, we taking photos, ninjas? <laughs> Dude, March's room is so cute. I really hope they come out with a feature to give Stella her own room. Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom-pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. How in the hell are you hiding a pom-pom doll in that skirt? You know what? I don't want to think about it. Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? Nope, but just myself. Why are you bringing Pom Pom's doll? My relics all have speed attributes. <laughs> Other people might fall for that, but I won't. How dare you? <laughs> That's a personal attack. I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records, and it seems like Urillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. I know for damn sure they ain't gonna change a damn thing with the scenery, though. I wouldn't call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. Yes, we gotta support the lesbians. <laughs> Bellabog, here we come. So about that skin release date, though. Hmm? Piggy! <sighs> they have teeth? <laughs> oh, it's Topaz! Galabon. Seven hundred years. Ooh. Money. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. Seven hundred years? Wait, what? Oh, wait a sec. That person over there, that doesn't look like a Silvermane Guard uniform. No, nah, he's got the drip marketing. All in black. Surely they're not IPC on this world? Am I going crazy? IPC? What are they doing here? What an ugly uniform. You know what? I actually think it's drippy as hell, but I want to be a contrarian. You think so? I actually think it's pretty snazzy. You're correct, but I'm being difficult. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, what are the IPC doing here on Urillo 6? Mm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. Nah, I don't trust government officials. Hi, do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? You better open up your mouth when the calendar girl's speaking. Uh... Okay, nice talking to you. Hmm? 
Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take him out? Over. Excuse me? Oh, hi, yo? Uh, to take us out? Surely you're talking about Chipotle. Take them out? Uh, just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Why is your first response to murder? I think we should talk about this. Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella 6 for a special business assignment. Did you got some red underlights in that hair? You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Please don't take it to heart. I want him fired immediately. Oh, you! You scared the life out of me! We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. I'm pretty sure those go hand in hand, though. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it? Mm. And this is my friend and fellow passenger. Say my name, say my name, please. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. The nameless title is just an excuse to not say my name at this point. I heard that Eurillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. Well, there was a third one, but he's busy with his iPad. That's us, the honor is yours. We may have helped that a little bit, now we're gonna flex. <laughs> huh? Jeez, can you be a little more humble? March, I got impaled by a crazy MILF. I deserve to flex. <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numby? Numby! What up, Piggy? Wow, Miss Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. What the heck? Is it just me or is Dumpy like a lot smaller now? Is he able to just change his size? Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express crews. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect, but I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urello 6, to meet with her. Uh, Miss March, you said you were on your way to Bellavog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Wanna come to the city with us? Mm. The snow plains are freezing. And it's easier than you think to get lost out here. You know that it's freezing, but you chose an outfit that shows more skin. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Rejected by three friends in a row. March is really all I have. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. Hmm? I don't usually respond during work hours, but... I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Damn, instant phone number? We moving up in the world, my ninjas. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Teach me how to get rich. I'm in charge of a project worth 8 billion credits, by the way. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is just so outlandish that I have to choose it. <laughs> As if anyone would ever believe that. I'm so sad. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. What? Uh, anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. Way to go, Topaz. You're feeding the shippers. Oh, Numby. The universe is huge. Yet, we somehow stumbled onto the same path. Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? Yes, it's not as if our path is being manipulated by Elio. <laughs> How are your armpits not frozen? Next, I'll be introducing the history of the museum. Everyone listen carefully, okay? Miss Payla! Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. 
I'm so hungry. <laughs> I wish I could have a red sunset salmon right now. I'm sorry, Pala, but children don't care about culture. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand. And also... Guess what? I heard there's gonna be a Silver Main Adventure Camp opening in the overworld soon. It's gonna be super awesome. I think it's time to throw in the towel, Pala. Also... Those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders 700 years ago. Miss Pela, Peter is falling asleep. God dang it, Peter, where's the chonkla? Enough. From now on, no whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Sorry, Miss Pela. Ah, uh, yes, punishment. An excellent teacher. <sighs> That's better. Uh, <clears throat> Now, where was I? Well, I never knew Pela had a strict side. The short ones usually do. Woo! Thanks, everyone! Hope you're ready for a great show! Let's get started! Serval? Wait, that's what I said. <laughs> Heartbeats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. The lightning strikes right. Damn, the do a street concert. Ah, uh, phew. Who'd have thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring? Perhaps you shouldn't have worn those heels. Say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. <laughs> Your call. But I go, you go. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Hello, government official. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Topaz, you gone for one moment and you already trying to get money. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Urela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. Oof, you gotta pay back them loans. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. You talking about the angry girlfriend? I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. I mean, you can just stay. You just leave me every time you show up. And there she go. Is everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solworm Festival. What exactly did Miss Topaz say to you? I only heard the word debt. <sighs> Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. 
how the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. They didn't take everybody though, damn. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? A 700-year-old debt, yes. Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. That's what government officials do. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. But now that we alive, that changes things. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. Man, this is kind of scummy. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. Oh god, how much is owed? What happens if you don't pay it off in time? The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it. Looks like we'll have to intervene. I doubt the Bellabogians can do anything about this on their own. Yeah, they need some help. Uh, right. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful. Even if Branya steps in, it'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now, now, I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? You want me to negotiate with the government? You're trying to kill me. Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. Let's go have a chat with Topaz. Let's bring out the big guns. Yes, let's just shoot our way out of this. Uh, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Miss Topaz seems like a reasonable person. You've only met her twice. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Me stay safe? You the one in trouble. Oh, uh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz gave me her number! We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. You sure know how to make a lot of assumptions about only meeting somebody twice. Are you there, Miss Topaz? Greetings, Director Topaz is currently busy and unable to reply to your message. Please wait. An auto reply? She really doesn't reply to messages during her work hours. Greetings, Director Topaz. <laughs> AI, please tell me. Can you tell me where Topaz has gone? Hello, checking Director Topaz's schedule for you. Currently, Director Topaz is on an inspection tour at the History and Culture Museum, the overworld of Bellabog and Yurilo 6. This thing is pretty smart. Thank you. 
Greetings, director. Okay, we get it. <laughs> the pig AI has limitations. Okay, got it. She's at the museum. Let's get going. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Perhaps we could bribe her with pet food. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Yes, perhaps you'd like to stick around. Cherish the moment, please. Why, of course I will. Meeting friends from the Astral Express is always a moment worth cherishing. Is that all I am to you? The train that binds me? What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. Yes, I also appreciate fine strokes. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow. You know, not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. Seems like you know your art. I was thinking the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me. Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I suppose what I'm trying to say is what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. What? Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Oh, so you're just looking for some investments. <sighs> for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Is that a mole? No. So, a collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way. Jesus! Slow down, woman! Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. You think maybe we could get a discount? Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. We want to ask for a favor on behalf of Bronya. The IPC's demands are unreasonable. The Express will pay off Bellabark's outstanding debts. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I just blew all my credits to sending Jing Liu. We ain't gotta like that, Stella. His demands is unreasonable. <laughs> You're so direct. I like that. Oh! I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabog's. I appreciate each case has its difficulties. But if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. What a heartless way of seeing things, and if the debt can't be repaid. The strategic investment department is well versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions, but Urillo 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? What? <sighs> that was a close one. No, keep your mouth open. Tell me. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. <sighs> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? You like animals. It's probably extinct. Yeah, they dead as hell. <sighs> I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on display here. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. <sighs> Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. Wait a minute, you don't keep your pet on a leash? So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? 
So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. I really don't though. The debt must be repaid, but we'll take care of the people. What? But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye! Wait a minute, how did they get straight to you but I had to go through an AI? Oh, you ain't going nowhere, we about to talk about this. So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. I suppose she did kind of make a little bit of sense. I guess so, but that still doesn't fix Branya's problem. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. <sighs> All these vested interests. So hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. <sighs> oh, wait, did I even go to school? No offense, March, but I really don't think so. Did someone send you a message? What? How did you hear my phone before me? I heard you're back in Bellabog, Himiko's chair. Give me a shout when you have a minute, it's urgent. What's up, Sealy? A bunch of rascals came down to the underworld and they took over the great mine by force. I asked Bronya what to do and she told me not to mess with them for the time being. We must fight back. <laughs> Violence wins again. We can't let those guys bully the miners. We must fight back. Yeah, we're already on it. Wildfire and Silverman guards already engaged with them. But those jerks have super advantaged fancy weapons with jacked up damage. We can't handle them. Oh no, they have five star weaponry. I'm sending you an SOS because I'm running out of ideas. I'm coming. Hang in there, we on our way. I ain't gonna let my favorite Yuri die. Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Oh, seriously? Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. I mean, you really never can. Let's go save the day. Here we go again. That's right. You can't believe a word they say. Uh, I really did jinx us. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Oh no, you dress pretty extravagant. Uh, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Zila! Hey, am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. Listen, Seely, I know this is important, but March, you changed that of your outfit. I'm so sad. What's going on? It's bad. Really bad. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? And they took the mine by force. I'm sorry, Sealy. What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Is Topaz around? Now nah, to hell with her right now. We gonna handle this. Do you think Topaz is around here somewhere? Maybe her cronies are acting without her authorization. That is the biggest copium I've heard all day. The person you're talking about, are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazto, whatever her <laughs> name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the great mine. Are you two with me? Always. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. They don't say a damn thing, do they? You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. 
How about you take a little lunch break? March. I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? March, you should just, uh, you should just let us handle the mountain. I'm a guest of your boss. Stand aside. Seriously, get some lunch, bro. Oh my god. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Uh, so it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Sh shut up! <laughs> I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? If it took 17 interviews for them to finally hire you, I don't think they wanted your ass. IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. We were actually gonna fight them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, an ice weakness. Just in time for Jingle you. You know what to do. Yes, more of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? He sure took off quickly. I'm pretty sure we're being reported. <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. I appreciate that energy, March. <sighs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. They told you that while we was beating their ass? You caught your breath yet? It's time to show these IPC fools who they're dealing with. When did you change your clothes? Right after we finished chatting with Topaz in the museum. Yes, but why? Did it take you that long to notice? I thought you were supposed to be the observant one. The quicker we handle the IPC, the faster we can get back to enjoying the celebrations. Let Zila know when you're ready to go. You better put that damn dress back on. I felt alive for a moment. Hello. It's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Topaz, if you bully Clara, I swear to God. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. What do you want with Metal Daddy? Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Oh my god, it's getting heated already. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. No. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. Excuse me? No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the Nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that your Rillo 6 can generate value. Topaz, what the hell? In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary. How do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. It's a rock. This is... Source code. Oh. Or to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. Topaz, what the, What? I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. 
The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that your real 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. By taking control of all the robots? But what about Svarog? But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. What? All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. Their future has been purchased. Damn, that is one of the most coldest things that I never heard, bro. <laughs> I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, I don't like this outcome. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. But only slightly. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. Jesus, ninjas, I don't know how I feel about Topaz. I really don't. Like, I know she's just doing a job, but this ain't Daja Boo. All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Numbi! Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was it again? Numbi, right? Numbi, the big boy. What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? He's not a monster. Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Wanna go take a look? <laughs> oh, oink, grunt, grunt, oink. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numbi saying? Topaz isn't here. Life is ultimately meaningless. Not share a strange accent. <laughs> Life is ultimately meaningless? Oh, Lord. Wow, that's so deep. Oh, come on, stop fooling around. Oh, God. <laughs> I wanted it to be true. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Follow it. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the Geo Marrow? I really don't know anything. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards. I guess they want to do this the hard way. Oh, hell yeah, it's time. God, she is so disgusting. Bro, isn't that a machine? Hmm. We'll see who's really in charge. Let's go. Hey, you. Are you in charge around here? Ah, all local. The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... Don't lie to us. You seized the mine by force for yourself. You drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again. Ah, uh, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. Topaz has let you do what you want. I want to speak to your boss. Yeah. Yeah, we demand to speak with Topaz. You know Topaz? Interesting. 
It doesn't matter. The Strategic Investment Department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. In cases where debtors fail to repay within the set time frame, the IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it! <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all-powerful? Well, now is the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Ooh, is this gonna be a new enemy? Uh, if I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <sighs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with violence, prepare yourselves for my heavy labor, Garrett. He's got a sheet. Ooh! I look more like a police officer than a debt collector. You die now. Yeah. God, I love Stella's smug smile. <laughs> we took down the Doomsday Beast, the Stellaron, and Fantilia. Did you really think you could stop us? Uh, darn it. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Oh? Wait, she's helping us? Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%. It's over. 60%? We're done for. Uh, attention all personnel. Evacuate the mines immediately. Erase all traces of your presence. Everybody take your phones out. Start recording. <sighs> Are we all good here, or what? Yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. One fitting for a black screen. You're better off asking Brodia. Bella Bog is in debt. Debt? What do you mean? You should probably ask Branya to explain it to you. Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? The timing couldn't have been any worse. Oh, looks like we've got a message. How do you hear these before me? Where are you, March in Himiko's chair? Are you alright? Bronya, we're in the underworld right now. The IPC's people took over the Great Mine. Us and Celia just kicked them out. I see, you're with Celia. How are things going? Did you get hurt? Don't worry, we can totally handle this. I failed to persuade Topaz. The IPC won't stop there. I see. Thanks for trying to negotiate with Topaz. This wasn't your responsibility in the first place. Something just happened here, and I can't explain it clearly in messages. Could you come back to Klopoth Fort? I need advice from you two on this issue. Yes, I'm a fantastic financial advisor. Huh, I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Dila? Of course, she's not just gonna leave her girlfriend. Go on without me. What? I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Damn, Silly, I tried to big up you right there, too. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort! Meanwhile, in Rivet Town. <laughs> These guys? I wouldn't either. By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellavog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Oh no. It's all going to hell. See you later, Captain. 
Jeffy, no! Alright, my ninjas, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for your ass, man. Subscribe to become one of my ninjas, join to become one of my ambu, and I will see you in the next video. Ninjas out.